Hello, I'm Ilaria Maselli, Senior Economist at the Conference Board, and this is your July Economics Watch Brief for Europe. How will current trade disputes impact the economy? That's what everyone in Europe is wondering under the hot summer sun. There is no simple answer to this question. Even as economic growth moderates, fundamentals of most European economies remain strong for now. But multinational companies face trouble, their supply chains are being disrupted, and the direction of future trade policy is unclear at this stage. In the medium term, however, we may be at greater risk, given the importance of the export sector for the euro area. As the global economy is reaching a plateau, tensions over trade may lower the contribution of net exports to the overall performance of the economy. Domestic demand could compensate for the risk of lower exports and sustain GDP growth at its current average of 2%. But, unlike in the US, fiscal policy tends to be conservative in the euro area and therefore it's difficult to see a stimulus coming from the public expenditure. So, can euro area consumers keep the economy growing beyond its long-term potential of 1.5%? So far, the rapid fall in unemployment from 19 to 16 million in five years has gone hand in hand with growing consumer confidence. Last year, in fact, consumer confidence was unusually strong. And there is still room for unemployment to lower even more, especially in countries like Spain and Italy. However, the contribution of domestic consumption to the euro area economy may not be sufficient to compensate for the lower external demand. A decline in confidence among business leaders will not help either. The most likely scenario, therefore, is that the euro area economy will continue to slowly moderate in the next quarters. I'm Ilaria Maselli and this was your Economics Watch Brief for Europe.